Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Joyful Jesse. Today I am going to be showing you how is it that I'm going to be organizing my son's fourth grade Abeka curriculum using the Flex Binder system. So make sure to stick around and watch. If you are new here and you enjoy the content that you are seeing, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss out when I post a new video. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate having you here. So I am going to be using for today a one and a half inch hybrid notebook flex binder and it's going to be the 300 sheet capacity. I got this one at Target and I had like a little Target haul that I did it at back at the beginning of July you guys want to go ahead and check that out and these are the things that I am going to be placing in this notebook now there is a variety of ways that you can organize this you can choose to break it down into four quarters which is what I'm going to do you can choose to do this all at once and just buy four binders and do it in four quarters I am doing the accredited version but if you are just doing it at home you can divide it into thirds whatever works best for your family for myself I have been doing this with my daughter with her k4 and I kind of pilot it with her when I decided that this is what I wanted to do with Noah as well and it has worked marvelously with her the way I am going to do it is that at the end of every quarter I will remove out all the work that he has done and I will place the new quarter in I have already gone through and I have in each one of his papers, his quizzes, tests, and his workbook text, I have gone through and divided it into second, third, and fourth quarter. Like the beginning of the second quarter, the beginning of the third quarter, the beginning of the fourth quarter. I didn't do the beginning of the first quarter because that's what I'm going to be ripping out today. It's almost like letting me know where is it that I need to stop on the last page. I will be doing this for all of his math, reading, language, his history, and his science book. This is going to be based on the workbooks that he has and the tests that he has. So I went through every single book of those and I did the exact same thing. It didn't take very long. I just used the video manual and at the end where it has the progress reports, it'll tell you right here, the progress report covers the following lessons and it has the subject and by what lessons. So that really helped me sort things out. That way when the time comes, I can just grab his test bloom, 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 and just stick them in there. I also, to make the process a little bit quicker, I already have them categorized by subject. So come along with me as I put this stuff together and hopefully it will give you an idea on how you can organize your child stuff as well for this upcoming school year that is just around the corner okay so for this I am going to be using this particular like I said the flex binder I am going to be needing his test and his workbook pages and I'm also going to be using these little a couple of these little thingamabobbers sheet covers just because I don't have enough little dividers for some of them so for some of them you're going to notice that I have already pre put in there um, where is it that I'm going to be using that for and we're also going to be needing a hole puncher so the very first thing that I'm going to start with is going to start by ripping out the activity sheets that he is going to be using and this is going to be super simple because I have already marked the ending part where quarter two begins so I am going to rip the cover page for all of them because this is the page I'm going to be putting on that divider to be a little bit more efficient I am going to stagger stack these and then that way as I hole punch I can also add to the binder so a couple things I'm gonna do first is I'm going to remove this thing from up here and then I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to remove the loose leaf paper out of there for now let's start from the front to the back 
and then we will see how that goes. So I'm gonna start with my arithmetic tests and speed drills. And I'm just simply going to put that here because I know they start with the speed drills. So I'm gonna put that there first. This is the little thing that you write the tabs of the subjects here, which I will do later. Okay. And I have my hole puncher set at 11. Apparently I could do up to 30 pages with this hole puncher. So I should be able to simply do all of the speed drills and tests at once. And I did without a problem. So I'm gonna come here. Then on this one, I'm going to take the cover sheet of my arithmetic and I am going to simply place it in this cover sheet just like that. Then I am going to bring that over and I'm going to start hole punching these. Alright my friends, now I'm going to give you a little tour of how the flex binder turned out. I'm going to open it up and then you're going to see that the very first thing at the beginning is the arithmetic tests and drills. They usually start with the drills at the beginning of every lesson, so that's in the beginning. I have the arithmetic, the workbook, and um, you're going to see that the pages here are front and back, which I love this binder for that because he can simply turn it back like a notebook and write without a problem and solve the problems on the other side. So I really like that aspect of it. Then we have the reading comprehension for skill sheets here. And again, those are like front and back. Then we have language, the workbook for the first quarter. And again, these are front and back too, so he can simply fold it back and it works great. Behind that, with one of the shape protectors, I have the language quizzes and tests. So I put the cover inside the cover sheet and then I have the tests and quizzes behind that. I had a total of seven dividers that came with a binder, so I only really needed to use three of the plastic cover sheets. Then we have the spelling and vocabulary, and in this particular case, these are the tests that go along with that. So I have that in here behind. The spelling doesn't have a big workbook, it just simply has a little tiny booklet. Then we have the history of the United States, the maps and the skill sheets. And then behind that, I have the United States history tests and quizzes that go along with that as well. And then finally, we have our science workbook. And for the science, I made sure that he had the divider with a little pouch in the front because in there I did notice that he does have some flashcards that he works on. So he can simply just stash them in there for studying or whatever he might need it for. And behind that, we have our science, which is God's world, the tests and quizzes. And all the quizzes just stay here and the test here for him to review throughout the quarter as he needs it. And then later on at the end of the quarter, I can just simply come in here, take it out, and then send whatever I need to send in with nothing getting lost. All right, my friends, this is how I have organized my son's fourth grade curriculum stuff for this year. As you know, we are doing a Becca Academy, the top two I have for my daughter, the bottom two are for my son. So on this area, I have the video manual along with all the DVDs for the lessons, as well as the teacher manuals and the answer keys all on this side. 
So this side is pretty much for Sean and myself. On this side, I have pretty much all of Noah's materials, all the consumables. And if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this curriculum, you can go ahead and check it out. I was at first so overwhelmed because it does seem like a lot of stuff. So I just took the time to organize it and put it together in a way that works for me. Pretty much what Noah has to worry about every single day are these materials right here. So as you saw, this is the flex binder that has all the stuff that he needs for his first quarter um, when it comes to his books and tests and quizzes. Then I have a notebook for him. I had gotten a five star, five subject one and didn't realize that, that they were the college rule ones. And for his cursive, he does need the wide rule run, the wide rule one. <laughs> so I went and I got him this one. It has that super durable poly front cover that lasts a long time. And then here are the books that he is going to be needing. This is the first reader he's going to be doing. Then I have his penmanship. These are not gonna change throughout the year ex with the exception of these two that sometimes he will have to do a state one at the fourth quarter. He will do his um, help. He has his penmanship, which is for his cursive. He has his spelling, vocab, and poetry, which he's gonna be using. Um, and he has his Understanding God's World, which is his science textbook, and the History of the United States, which is his social studies textbook. These are pretty much the items that he is going to start off with. Something that is going to be changing a lot is going to be his reader. So here are the things already labeled like I showed you before that every at the end of every quarter I'm gonna come and switch out switch out what he has in his binder for the things that he's gonna need on the next quarter but if I mean can you imagine trying to rip out pages and keep track of all that so often yeah that doesn't work for me <laughs> then what I did is I went through every single one of these books and for the purposes of me knowing what is he going to be needing next I um, put sticky notes on them so if you look here I put a sticky note and I said, begin language lesson 14. I went through every single book and I put a sticky note at the beginning just so we know what lesson is he beginning for that particular book in. And then here I put like, begin on lesson 21. This is his reader. Begin on lesson 33, book report number three. And all these are in order of when he's going to be using them. Lesson 41, it begins on lesson 41. Uh, start on lesson 71, lesson 96, lesson 116, and lesson 142. Just so I pretty much have the whole year planned out as to when are these things going to be showing up. Then for the remaining ones that I have here, I put quarter three lessons 86 to 115 because that is in social studies when he's going to be working in his state book. Then for his developing good health, that is going to be his science and that's not gonna start till quarter four. So that's why I put quarter four in as the last one there. And then, so art, I don't have art put into the notebook because art I am going to be doing on the weekends instead. He loves this kind of stuff, so I'm not including it in the binder that he's going to be working on throughout the week. Sean and I will be the ones messing with this area right here, but I organized it that way so that both him and I are kind of in the same page. We know exactly when something starts, when something ends. And Noah just has to worry about his binder and this stuff over here every single day. That way he is not overwhelmed. That is how I have my son's fourth grade Abeka curriculum organized. I feel like it's going to work best for my family. My husband, Sean and I are both working together on this and so is Noah. This way we are all kind of, it keeps everybody organized and on the same page. And quite honestly, when the next quarter comes, I just come here and rip, take out the stuff that he doesn't need anymore. Um, it's gonna be very easy for me to go ahead and mail his progress reports and just keep it all in one place and there won't be papers all over the place and oh my goodness, did I lose this, did I place that? It's just all right there. I hope that you have found this video helpful and that it gives you an option on a way on how to organize your Becca curriculum stuff. Thank you so much for watching and please remember if you like what you saw to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.